Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Friday, December 20th, around 6.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. We have the white Christmas forecast coming up in just a moment. Keep calm. It's boom time. And on top of boom time, Saturday is the winter solstice. Make the most of the shortest day of the year. A quick look at the total snowfall analysis from the last 24 hours. The big winter, chicken dinner, the Great Lakes region, and portions of North Dakota picking up uh, enough snow to stay on the ground through Christmas. So four inches in some areas of North Dakota. The big winter here in the West Bend area of Wisconsin picking up eight inches or more. And more snow is on the way. Snow across the Great Lakes, Central Appalachia, Appalachians and northeast and unsettled weather in the west. Light to moderate snow will continue into Saturday over the Great Lakes, central Appalachians and northeast. This weekend into next week, a series of atmospheric rivers will bring gusty winds, periods of heavy rain and mountain snow to northern California and the Pacific Northwest. And those are the two areas, the east and the west, uh, where they will have a white Christmas. Colder temperatures are in store for the weekend from the Great Lakes to the East Coast. So bundle up, buttercup. It's going to be a chilly and white Christmas, maybe even for Philly. Take a look at that. There's two systems that are going to hit. For the East, one is going to hit this weekend, Saturday and into Sunday. And then another system right here, Christmas Eve for the East comes through once again. Same thing happening on the West Coast, although that's three pulses for the West Coast through Christmas. And that is your white Christmas forecast through December 28th. Seismic update. Pretty low-level activity worldwide. Interesting rumbler just kicked off here. Mooringsport, Louisiana, 3.1. I'm sure some people's eyebrows are being raised there. Worldwide volcano news. Normal activity today. No need to go run down the list. Space weather as well is quite bleak. For December 20th, low-level activity, very impulsive M flares from the new active region, but no coronal mass ejections, nothing headed our way. Three-day geomagnetic forecast, all quiet at Solar Max. We do have a meteor shower to speak of, and it is peaking this weekend, the Ursid meteor shower. Here's what to expect from the final shooting stars of 2024. Now, the Ursids aren't particularly active, but Ursids unexpectedly produced 100 meteors per hour in 1945, 1968, and some 30 meteors per hour in 1973. So you never know what you're going to get, and they're easy to go look for. The Ursids are named for their radiant, or the point in the sky from which they appear to emanate. And this is the constellation Ursa Minor, which is where the North Star is. So if you know where the North Star is or the Little Dipper, or just look north and above the horizon. These uh, so-called meteorites don't actually come from the Little Dipper. They're coming from Comet 8P Tuttle, or more specifically, the trail of debris it leaves behind on its orbit of the sun. And er as Earth moves into that trail of debris, they burn up, in our atmosphere, creating shooting stars, in this case, the Ursids. So get out and look north. Now, did humans go extinct 900,000 years ago? Well, according to a controversial new paper, we may have, and Lee and I will be covering it tomorrow on Revolution Radio Studio B, Noon Mountain Time. We'll replay it on Magnetic Reversal News, 8 p.m., for your pleasure. And we will leave you links to this article below. Giant sloths, mastodons, coexisted with humans for millennia in the Americas. For a long time, scientists believed the first humans to arrive in the Americas soon killed off all the giant sloths through hunting, along with many other massive animals like mastodons, saber-toothed cats, and dire wolves that once roamed North America, which I always thought is complete nonsense. And new research is supporting my beliefs. 
New research from several sites is starting to suggest that people came to the Americas much earlier, including the footprints in White Sands dating to 23,000 years ago. And even the Mammoth Kill site in New Mexico, I think dating 30,000 plus years ago. But new evidence is suggesting that we lived alongside of these megaliths for tens of thousands of years. Interesting discoveries in Antarctica. Scientists peered into a secret lake hidden beneath the ice and uncovered a never-before-seen ecosystem and even took photographs. And there's some of those photos deep under the ice where there is liquid water. There are also rivers underneath the ice in Antarctica and a whole bunch of them. Take a look at how many rivers and how many lakes. The lakes are the blue dots, obviously. The rivers are the blue lines. And the ice cover has been lifted. So there is a whole dynamic system underneath of the giant ice cap on Iceland. And it's fantastic. We'll leave you links to the article below. Ho, ho, ho. Geologists find the world's largest iron ore deposit. How is this happening? It's in Western Australia. If you follow the channel, geologists just found the world's largest gold deposit in China. And now we just found the world's largest iron ore deposit in Australia. Holy macaroni. What's next? The world's largest oil reserve? Well, I think we already found that. Now, for those of you out there that don't think we landed on the moon, I'm just going to go over Apollo 50, Apollo in the numbers. If the moon landing was fake, then almost a half a million people had to be in on it because the Apollo program, which took men to the moon, ran until 1972. And in all, there were 12 manned missions to the moon brought to life by a workforce of over 400,000 people on the ground. It was one of the greatest industrial projects ever mounted and its legacy continues today. So, probably not uh, faked. There were, perhaps, fake pictures, which we know Kubrick was involved with, just in case the first of the Apollo missions failed. I think we were going to fake it, but we didn't. We actually made it, and we continue to go up there multiple times. What did I say? 12 missions to the moon and 400,000 people on the ground for support. Pretty awesome, the capability of the human being. And before we go, never mess with a moose. Oh, oh. Even if you're a grizzly, and that's a boom to knowledge, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Over half of you watching are unsubscribed, and we would appreciate it if you just hit that subscribe button and hit the bell and get all notifications, hopefully, but we are shadow banned, which means many of you don't get notifications at all. All you have to do is check back at the channel every day because we post every day. We love you. Be safe. And that is a boom. Happy holidays. <laughs>